Hi guys, today we're going to use an FTP server and a Cisco 2811 router and we're going to uh, copy our running config to that FTP server. Um, we have the FTP server running on a Raspberry Pi. So we're right now we're going to SSH into the, uh, the router. So I'm using uh, elementary Linux. So to do that, we're going to use this command here, SSH with my username, the IP address uh, of the router. Put in the password. Now we're on the router. So to do the, uh, to copy the running config over, we're gonna use the command copy running config to FTP. Then we're gonna put in the address of our FTP server, which is the Raspberry Pi. 192.168.0.36 in this example. We're going to give it a destination file name and you're going to want to remember this. I'm going to use r1 underscore config. There we are. So 1,409 bytes were copied to the FTP server. So let's take a look at that FTP server. If we do FTP, I have it right here. And we see the running config put in at this time on this date. So uh, we can further look. I like to use this little Chrome extension, SSH, secure shell extension. We'll put in the Pi, put in the password, do LS, and we see the R1 underscore config is right there. So that's a pretty simple example on how to copy that running config over to the FTP server. Now it's there, how do we get it back? So say we wanted to bring the running config from the Raspberry Pi FTP server to the router, how do we do that? So it's the same thing in reverse. We're just gonna do copy FTP To the running config, the address of that Raspberry Pi was 192.0.36. The source file name, this is where we need to know what it was. So I did r1 underscore config. I can spell that correctly. Destination is running config. And we're loading it from the Raspberry Pi to the R1 server. There we are, 1409 bytes copy. So same thing. So again, we sent the running config from our router. In this case, it's a Cisco 2811 to our FTP server on the Raspberry Pi. And then we have copied it back and verified that it was indeed there. And if we just want to download it from that, all we got to do is click on it. Bam, we have a copy of the running config on our local computer that we SSH'd to the router from. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.